Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the how to set up a sensor that is BMP180. To know more this sensor, let's move on to our website controleverything.com and let's have an overall look over this sensor and search this sensor. So we have this sensor BMP180 which is a digital pressure sensor. The range of this sensor is 300 to 1100 hectopascal and these are some of its features which you can see on my screen. You can purchase this sensor from here. Uh, moving forward, we have to interface this sensor BMP180 digital pressure sensor with a particle photon and for that I require a particle code. So for that the easy way is to go to resource tab and here is our particle code sample. You can have the particle code sample and you can download it as a zip file from here. You can also have the chance to get the code from our github repository github.com and the name of the repository is control everything community. Now you have two ways either of you can get the code. So now what we do is to make connections for the hardware accessories products we need for this video tutorial. So why not we have a look over that and let's proceed further. Well, this is our sensor BMP180, which is a digital pressure sensor. Now, what do we need is to interface and make connection and we require a particle photon, which you are able to see on my screen right now. Now, to make a connection among the sensor and other I2C devices and rather make that connection a lot easier, we need this I2C sheet. Now, this is available on our website controleverything.com. So, make this connection and gently press the particle photon over the I2C shield and make this connection. Now the binding factor among the sensor and the I2C shield is this a connecting cable. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor and while making this connection one thing you notice that we have to follow the rule while making this connection is that brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this rule with the I2C shield. Hence, we are done with this particular connection. Now, what do we need is a micro USB cable. This is just to power up our particle photon and light it up. So, hence, we are done with the connections part overall. And next, we need to explain our code and to interface this with our sensor. So, let's have a look over that. Um, as we are done with the hardware connections part, let's have a look over the code. What we will interface with our sensor and that's our particle code. For that log in to github.com and here we have to search for control everything community which is a repository of ours. Now here search for the sensor which we will be looking BMP180 and here it goes. This is a required particle code. Now let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to log into our particle photon and the set up the device and the steps are being provided on this link. Let's have a look over this link. Now as you look, uh, this will help us to install all the required uh, information and set up the device or the particle photon. Uh, you can have a look over it. Now next thing we have to download the code and we have to go online ID and copy the code. Now this is the link which will help us through that. It's a build.particle.io what do we do is to copy this entire code here paste it or you can name it or you can download it from here uh, like that and copy this code now the next part is that we have to verify and flash the code on the particle photon and the dashboard link will help us to display the results so here are the results as you can notice and it will display all the relevant results whatever you do want so this is how this code will work now please have a go through information of this URLs. Now what do we do is to get to our code that's a particle code and it's a .ino extension file. The first thing you note that we have included some of the libraries which have the functions which we will use later in this code. And we have defined the address of the sensor that is UX77. We have initialized several of the variables which we will be needing later on this video and in the void setup. We have again some variables, particle dot variables. Now we have initialized I2C communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Now in this part we have some reading data. 
we have selected the data register from 170 that's the decimal address we have incremented it as a two byte data we have read that this is a conversion part of that coefficients and at the end we have our coefficients which are standard so this is how this will work and in the void to function we have the data for the writing now we have selected measurement control register having address 0x fo and enabled temperature measurement here the command for that is 0x2e in the second part we have selected the data register that is 0x f6 and we have requested and read two bytes of data from here we are reading and getting the data values from here continuously and we here are converting this data into the required values which is according to the data sheet now again we have selected the measurement control register that is 0x f4 and enabled pressure measurement OSS equal to 1 uh, the command for that is 0x7 second part we have selected the data register for that pressure values that is 0x f6 and we have requested 3 bytes of data the data is being continuously monitored and here the conversion part of that reading data takes place which is according to the data sheet now in the next part for the calibration of temperature is here calibration of pressure is here and all the values are according to the data sheet formulas or we have dependencies of that data sheet third part in this code is this calculation of altitude we have calculated temperature pressure now the third part is altitude this we have done using the previous pressure values so at the very end of our output data we have formatted and we have published the particle data in altitude which is in meters pressure in hectopascal temperature in celsius and fahrenheit scales this is the right format we do so at the end we have delay so that we have specific time so that we can have the entire and accurate information to be displayed on the monitor so this is how a code looks like this it's a very generalized code you can have a go through look over it again and again and it will be a very simple code so as we are done with the explanation interfacing is to be required and for that let's have a look now let's have a look for this code and give it a working track and for that copy this entire code and open up the build terminal we have discussed earlier and here we go name the sensor save the code and now verify the code it's good now flash the code while flashing the code we have to check for the magenta flash which will have the authentication that it's good to go as you can see uh, the flash is successful now open up the dashboard terminal we have earlier discussed also and where we will have the output of this particular code as you can see we have the temperature pressure and altitude on the screen now when I apply some pressure over the sensor as you can notice there is a change in all three values of temperature pressure and altitude now when I again apply some pressure as you can see there is again change in pressure, temperature and altitude values. So this is how the particle code works with this particular sensor. Now we will let you know the benefits, features and applications of this particular device, the sensor BMP180 and why do we use it. So let's have a look over the sensor applications. As of now we have seen the hardware connections, the explanation of the code and the working of this particular sensor that BMP180. The BMP180 is a digital pressure sensor. It is the functional compatible successor of BMP085, a new generation of high precision digital pressure sensors for consumer applications. The ultra low power, low voltage electronics with a low altitude noise of merely 0.25 meter at fast conversion time the BMP180 offers superior performance the BMP180 is based on PZO resistive technology for EMC robustness high accuracy and linearity as well as long term stabilities the applications include enhancement of GPS navigation in and outdoor navigation leisure and supports weather forecast vertical velocity indication and a lot more so we have set up a digital pressure sensor that is BMP180 
So I just thought that I would make it clear in case you are in a kind of thought that you are left without fully understanding this particular thing, the explanation, the connections or any part of this particular video. So post your queries on controleverything.com and you can post them on our community page. Now for blogs and articles which are relevant to this video tutorial, you can go to instructivus.com for the communication and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. Now I hope you enjoyed this video a lot and have a good one for yourself also. Thanks a lot for watching.